Ross Lewis is one of Ireland's leading chefs. Owner and head chef at the prestigious Michelin Star Awarded Chapter One. Ross's days are often spent keeping many plates spinning. Today, however, Ross is taking a day out from his kitchen and getting out into the heart of South Dublin's coastline walks. I really enjoy walking. I, I'm, I'm a chef by trade and, you know, you can be locked up in kitchens for a lot of hours. And the one thing that I really enjoy is when I have a bit of free time is walking. And what I'm really looking forward to, I really like about this walk, is that it's, you could describe it as a suburban coastal walkway, which is quite unique. Ross is walking from Town to Killiney Hill. Along the way, he will take in the delights of Dunleary, Sandy Cove, and the town, not village, of Dorky. The start of Ross's walk takes him along the railway line between Town and Black Rock. I'm starting my walk here in Town, and being as it's a city walk, I'm traveling light. I've got some water, I've got a banana, no need for any maps, and I'm hoping for good weather. And I know a few special spots I can stop off for extra nourishment if I need to. Many Dubliners know Booterstown as a south side suburb. And as well as being home to one of the many Martello Towers Ross will pass on his walk, Booterstown also has a dedicated circus field located on the Rock Road. Black Rock is home to the Black Rock Market, one of Dublin's oldest. In 2016, one of the traders here, Heron and Gray, were awarded their own Michelin star. Ross is dropping by to say hello to Damien Gray, the chef here, who worked in Ross's own kitchen not so long good ago. Afternoon. Chef Damien, well, how, are how are you? How are you? Great to see You're you. Good afternoon, Chef. Oh, wonderful to be here. Judging by the fact that you got a Michelin star within seven months, which is probably <laughs> one of the Fastest on record. <laughs> uh, I think you've done him more than justice. Yeah, um, yeah, that was, it's been phenomenal. That, was a that, surprise. that is just that was a surprise. Such an it was amazing. A surprise. That was a big story. surprise. We weren't expecting it. We didn't go out to achieve it either. That was it was just this was just to get a, a so we could work, spend a bit more time with our families, and try and have some have some creative space and yeah. Yeah, and one thing there after another, and then we, 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 were, we were absolutely super fortunate to get a star, and it's, it's been a life changer. Being in Black Rock, has that helped you? This two-week cycle, we sh change our menus every two weeks, that was for the locals. Yeah, because yeah. if you want to keep your residents very interested in your, because you don't have a, a large pool, well, yeah. we didn't. That's what we did. We were like, every two weeks we'll change, we'll keep them coming back. Yeah, that you know was what exactly I mean? We'll it, keep yeah. trying to test them. Yeah and keep them involved, and that's kind of how we built these great relationships. It's funny though, people say to us now, since we've, we, we, we achieved the style, you must be gonna go somewhere else now and go to a bigger place and all this sort of stuff. Still here? We're not going anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't wanna go anywhere, we love this space. The uh -huh. energy's excellent here, it's really, yeah, really good. It certainly it's, is. So Black Rock is home for the foreseeable future? Yeah, ah, yeah. yeah. yeah it is. Yes. It's absolutely amazing. Ross is heading out towards the coast and picks up the seaside walk at Sea Point between Black Rock and Monkstown. As well as attracting seabirds and wildlife, Sea Point has some historic attributes going back centuries. South Dublin's coastline is dotted with Martello Towers. This is the second one Ross has passed. The Martello Towers were defensive forts built in the 1800s to protect the coastline. This one, complete with cannon, has become a focal point for a local community of swimmers. The bathing area here has been designated for swimming for over 250 years. You'll find a hard core of Dublin swimmers here, many of them all-rounders who swim every day of the year. Dunleary is the largest town in this part of Dublin. 
dating back over 200 years, it was formerly known as Kingstown. Relics of its colonial days are still to be seen here, especially in its various monuments and buildings. In recent years, the seafront here has undergone a dramatic revamp. The most recent addition to the area is its new library, which was designed to reflect its nautical location. Tanleri Harbour is a working harbour that's also over 200 years old. It's man-made and it has two separate piers, the East Pier and the West Pier. The East Pier here is part of Ireland's emigration story. The mail boat and subsequently the Hollyhead ferries departed from here. And while those ferries have now gone, the harbour still relies on commerce to maintain itself. Ross is walking the East Pier. It's 1.3 kilometres long and more than one million people walk it every year. And while there are numerous activities to pursue here, sailing, boat tours and scuba diving, most folk do as Ross is doing, stroll the pier leisurely. Here we have Hoth and the Bailey Lighthouse, the Pigeon House and the Dublin City Centre. And I'm asking myself this, what other capital city has this kind of amenity so close to its city centre? Dunleary is 12 kilometres from Dublin city centre. It's a bustling seaside town. Popular as a Sunday stroll destination in Victorian times, Dunleary hasn't lost that feel. One of the big traditions here in Dunleary is Teddy's ice cream. The shop has existed for nearly 70 years and is very famous in these parts. Be warned though, there's always a queue. How are you? I love a 99 if I could have one please. I'm on a long walk, long journey. Thanks so much. Never underestimate having a bit of fuel on a long walk. A handful of sunshine. 